You know, I'm a, I'm a veteran. I'm a disabled vet. This is a shock to me. I'm the only veteran running for governor on both sides of the aisle. You know, and so it's very important for us to make sure that we recognize our men and women in uniform and what is going on with them. I'm a small business owner. We own two small businesses. So I understand the challenges that small businesses struggle every single day. I'm a former mayor. I was the mayor of Parker, Colorado. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Parker. You know, I was very fortunate. I was elected at the age of 27. And I was not only the mayor, but I was a city manager simultaneously. So I learned everything that was to learn about running a government entity. And that's true executive experience. You know, I sat on the board of E470, so I understand transportation. I sat on the board of uh, Dr. Cobb, which is the Denver Regional Council of Governments. So economic development, regional development, water issues, air quality, all those types of things we dealt with every single day as the mayor of Parker. I had a growth of 160% in four years. I'm also the former president of the Denver Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I sat on the board for five years and I ran the organization for two. So I truly understand the Hispanic community and they understand who I am. As a matter of fact, uh, I got a call last week from the sitting president today and said, Greg, I need you to come next Friday to our gala. There's a thousand small businesses that are going to be joining Friday night and I want you to be here. Okay, so tomorrow night, my wife said, I don't know what to wear, so we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to be again involved with the Hispanic community, you know, as leaders gather. Now, I'm also the former president and CEO of an organization known as the Rocky Mountain Minority Supplier Development Council. And this is an organization that is sponsored by Corporate America. And what they're looking for is small businesses from the minority communities to put into their supply chain, both upstream and downstream. So I represented the black, the Asian, the Native American, and the Hispanic small business owners. I know all those presidents, I know all those small business owners, and that was my job, was to help them get contracts. Most recently, I am the former director of the United States Small Business Administration here in Colorado. And so my job was to make sure a small business was alive and well and that it thrived throughout the 64 counties within the state of Colorado. Under my administration, I was able to garner $2.9 billion in loans for small business. $4.6 billion in federal contracts for small businesses here in Colorado. That's 45 to 46,000 jobs that were created because of small business. You know, and one of the reasons I left the SBA is because of the Veterans Hospital. You guys know what a fiasco that is. Yeah. You know, my leadership in Washington was upset that I was advocating for small business. 41 small business owners had worked on that project they were owed $21 million. They had been owed for two years for work that they already completed and they weren't getting paid. Well, I was starting to get them paid. They called me and said, you need to stop because you're making the president look bad. I said, I'm not interested in how the president's looking. I'm interested in doing the right thing. As Joe mentioned, I come from humble beginnings. I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination. You know, my mom and dad were migrant workers. My dad had a sixth grade education and he never really learned how to read and write. My mom has an eighth grade education. But here's what they taught us boys. They said, look, as a man, you have responsibilities. You need to provide for your family. You need to have a good job. You need to always make sure that you're doing the right thing. You don't tell lies. You honor your name. And most importantly, you help people when you can. And if you say you're going to be somewhere, you get there, no matter what. You know, and those are the values that I have. I'm not interested in playing politics. I'm interested in doing the right thing for the betterment of all of us. Because it is about all of us, not just some of us. 